Hello, Medicare agents. Jason Checkets here with the Insurance Professionals of Arizona. Today, I am going to show you a new tool available to us within United Healthcare's Jarvis system, um, and it's called the Medicare Product Portal. Uh, this is pretty cool. I think it's uh, worth for uh, worth everyone checking out. Uh, you can actually see in here now the 2024 plans. So I'm considering this the first look for United Healthcare. Um, now, the way I got there, just as a reminder, you just go into Jarvis, scroll down here until you see all your tiles here, and you'll see this one called Medicare Product Portal. Here's what it looks like. Um, I'm going to jump right into the tool part of it itself. So just click right here on plans. And in here, you're going to be able to select the year of which plans you're going to look, you want to look for. So for now, I'm going to keep it at the 2024 plans and uh, just kind of give you an overview. B by the way, this is a nationwide tool now. So if you're licensed in other states and you want to quickly look at what uh, options are available to us in those other states, well, now you can. Um, okay, so let's say you have a client who's moving to Navajo County or is in Navajo County and uh, Sholo area, for example, and you want to see which United Healthcare plans are available up there. Well, here you go. All I did was I clicked on Navajo County and over to the right, I wish there was a way we could make this bigger, like make this map smaller and make this part of it bigger. But um, here's where it'll t make sure all your filters are are taken out, except for in this case, we selected rural Arizona. Right. And um, here you go. You've got the Patriot plan. Now, that plan looks like it's the same title next year or at least similar in title. Um, the plan code itself looks like it's staying the same. Um, but look at check this out. The two PPOs that we're so used to up in Navajo County or anywhere in northern or southern county in the rural areas. The names are changing and the plan codes are changing, folks. Okay, so what we're what I've been told is that on the PPO plans, all the PPO plans for Maricopa County and every other county, except for the Patriot PPO and the except for the Assure PPO, they're all going to be crosswalked to a new plan code. So you probably don't recognize this, but technically, let me see if I can just go like this. There you go. Here's the two plans. This right here is plan one. It's the one that has the monthly premium. Uh, it's going to be $39 next year. Um, you'll notice here that the title has changed and so has the plan code. Okay. Same thing with down here. This title, this, this was our plan two PPO, which is the zero premium plan and the plan code has changed. Okay. Now, if you click on one of these, it'll bring you up to the details of the plan. So now you can come in here and kind of compare what was plan one like this year versus what, what is plan one going to look like next year. And one of the biggest differences, folks, is that there is now going to be a 50% coinsurance on dentures and bridges. Now, what I was told from Mark, I'm sorry, Matt at United Healthcare is that this is also going to include crowns and so we're still kind of up in the air on this but just realize this is going to be a, a change for our clients um, by the way just notice this when I clicked on the plan check it out it tells me every county that this plan is available in I like that pretty awesome okay so be aware of some of these changes here let's go back let's look at Maricopa County real quick let's change this here to Maricopa County because we're, now we're dealing with more plans. Here's 11 plans available in Maricopa County. Um, here's your Patriot plan. Oh, check this out. Medicare Advantage from UHC AZ0002. It's no longer called Plan 1. The Plan 1 HMO has a new title. And it's going to be, we know it's going to be nicknamed here, 0002. <laughs> so sorry. I don't know why United Healthcare did this. But this is the same plan ID number for plan one. So let's compare plan one to plan two. Again, plan two's title has changed. It's no longer called plan two HMO, but it is the same plan code. Let's put plan three. Now plan three has 0003 on it. This is the basically their version of an LIS plan, $31 a month for that. And here is plan four nicknamed or now called the 0005. So sorry, folks, nothing we can do about it. Um, but this, it is what it is. And then uh, go, go right up here to uh, compare. So I've got the four plans in here. 
<clears throat> I've got compare on here, and now I can compare them side by side. Now I wish they would make this different so that we could actually see all four of them here. So we're going to have to do some scrolling around on screen, but check this out. If you click on print and you hit continue to print, you can save this as a PDF, right? And so here now I can do a PDF version of the, the, of the plan comparison side by side and all four of them fit. Love it. So this might be a huge game changer for us. Uh, not a game changer, but just an opportunity for you to quickly get at your fingertips the different plans that are available based on the county. Okay, so this is our plan one, plan two, plan three, and plan four as we know them today. Okay, um, other changes on here you might want to pay attention to is I believe they increased the number of days for inpatient hospital to seven. I want to say it's six days this year. Um, look at your dental, $3,500 for um, plan two HMO. So that's a jump. It does clearly state 50% for dentures and bridges only. So maybe, maybe Matt was wrong. Maybe crowns are not included here in the 50%, but we do know bridges and dentures are. Okay, that's it. Just wanted to kind of point out this tool for you. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks.